did it think we won? Weird. I don't understand. Do I keep going? Either it think we hid, or we were supposed to die? <laughs> what do I do? I don't know. Either it bugged out thinking that we did escape, or we were supposed to die there. Should I just keep going? But it going? would be weird for it to supposed to die there, so I'm guessing... I mean, we could, unless you wanted to back out to the... Redo it? But it would still, I would imagine it would reload us to the same spot. I'm guessing it bugged out. Maybe because you did grab it before it killed us? Weird. Really weird. Maybe because you did grab the thing before she killed us, it thought that we Maybe. were hiding, even though it killed us. I guess let's just keep going. <laughs> yeah, unless... <laughs> <laughs> weird! Weird! <laughs> but don't question it! <laughs> Caution, do not enter. Alright. Because I, would, I wouldn't imagine that was a scripted death. Because otherwise I would have expected something different. Can I not? Okay, I can't grab it. Maintenance list. Ensure that the machinery is clear of debris. Wipe machine surfaces of lubricant dirt. Lubricant dirt? And other loose, and debris. Other loose debris. Check for all. Tools. Check and replace worm. Worn, sorry. Or damaged parts. Check machinery fluid levels. Check belts for damage. Main gear removed. Damage, damage beyond, beyond repair. repair. Please, Please replace, replace ASAP. ASAP. Huh. Mommy says, be careful around fire. Okay. So we need to get a gear. Okay. Where's the gear at, though? Um, we have a power thingy. Look at all these barrels. Barrels. I don't know if I'm supposed to walk hey, on that. Beep. Where's the beep? Oh, up there. Chains. Then it looks like I'm gonna have to open the furnace. Same Are place. we making a gear? Maybe. Maybe. That or we're gonna have to hide in there for mommy. In that there? Isn't that the furnace? Look, there's coals. Yeah. Oh, open it. I don't know if I. Oh. oh. Really, there are handles on the inside. We're probably gonna have to hide in there. This is a weird furnace. What is this? Oh, I... oh there's arrows though. Hmm. All right, well, I guess upstairs. Sugar. Yeah, <laughs> I was gonna say that. Let's see what the beeping is. That orange thing is down there was suspicious too. What's the beeping? Oh, we have to put the orange thing in here, I think. Right? Mold. Mold sweet? Slot. Slot. I'm I guessing this orange thingy, right? Down here? I this? guess. Oh. Yeah, so gear we're mold. Molding a gear. Interesting. But I don't know. What are we molding it from? I don't know. And then what's that for? To turn on the furnace, I guess. Because remember, there was, the orange, there was the power spot next to the furnace. Okay, so... Okay. <laughs> well, we got that done. But what else do we need? I don't know. Well, remember, there's the tri the green triangle down by the, the doors. So, so this one? The, I would so guess... There?
weird. Don't get how that works, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> Where do I put it, though? Oh, back at the door? Yeah, do I yeah, go back? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Remember, that's why we need the gear in the first okay. place. But I'm guessing we're going to have to hide in there for mommy. <sighs> question is, does the furnace need to be on when we're hiding? <laughs> so I put it in here? Yeah. Then mm. pull the lever. You keep your pinky on the shift, this one on the S, this one on the W and D. Oh, you switch in between. You do. Ah! Do I have to redo everything? I guess so. Oh no, what if she comes after me now? <sighs> then we do our plan that we planned when we thought we were going to have to do it again. Okay. Nope. nope. Okay, maybe nope. they're just nice. <laughs> but now I have to redo all that stuff. That's okay, though. So first we do this guy. And we go put you up here. Boop. Oh, wait. Boop. All right. It's kind of like playing the piano. That's why a lot of piano players actually play video games. And then, yeah, you, you shift... Ship with your pinky and you can control it. Got it. Crouch. Need to improve my hand dexterousness. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, your main issue is that you need to stop. <laughs> Freaking out! <laughs> yeah. Girl with anxiety needs to chill. <laughs> Well, I was going to say, stoicism. You can freak out on the inside, but not on the outside. <laughs> <laughs> oh, pull the lever! <laughs> pull the lever, Croc! I got it! Wrong lever. Oh, what? I guess I didn't do it long enough? There you go. Didn't pull it all the way down. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, so activate, turn, run, close doors, pray for the best. Huggy chase. I don't like it. Oh, I wonder where it's gonna leave me. Okay, so pull over and run. 
Oh, we have the grab pack. So you could just grab the level or turn around, start running, okay. and then pull as we're running. Those arrows are there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I wonder where those are. Maybe there's a small child, like you were saying. Is there um Ratman in this game? Ratman. Okay. Do you get the reference? No. In Portal, the guy who writes "Cake is a Lie." Oh. His name was Ratman. Oh. Maybe. Because you never see him, you just see all the notes that he leaves is he around. Dead? That's dead. well, no, he like he's traveling oh. between all the. Tests. Okay. He lives outside of Gladys's sight. Oh, cool. He's the only human left in Aperture. Well, hopefully <laughs> he gets out. Yeah. Okay, are you ready? <laughs> attention because there's probably going to be something on the other side of this that we have to like either duck and hide in okay, or okay ready <laughs> it's just how games work part of him. Who? Whoever has the Coraline hand or other mother hand. <laughs> I'm oh. guessing. Is it the Mr. Longlegs? On the, the, the hit tab. Down. Oh. Claw. Oh, it's got like... Machine. And But it's got, look, it's got like a ulna in the Whatever I can't remember the other name, the the wrist bones or arm bones. Hmm. Okay. Is it well, a cyborg. I feel a little bad, but you know you were trying to kill me. Or it's the prototype that was in the first part. I don't know. She really didn't want to 
join, I guess. All right. Well, then, you know, she didn't want to die. You're crouching still. Am I? No? No, yeah, I think you were. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> you, you look higher up than you were before. <laughs> Bay 9? Oh, mommy's dead. <laughs> yeah. yeah, she's definitely dead. Yeah. She went on grinder and died. She went on grinder and died. <laughs> Where do I just up? Oh. Am I I'm Am guessing. I done? Am I free? Well, we need to find oh, Poppy. Yeah. And then where about the other note? Poppy! Oh, we need to go back to the train. Yeah. Let me know if you see a statue. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> I've been paying attention. Okay. I'm guessing we weren't supposed to get. Ah! <laughs> oh, I thought I could make it. I think you can. Do you think you. <laughs> Maybe you need to run a jump? Oh, wait, run. Maybe we weren't supposed to get that statue yet. Maybe. Oh, she's headless. Keep this premises tidy. Ooh. Oh. Is it, where's the, ah. Oh, the cables came. Old timey equipment. Follow the cables. log code 08502. In relation, experiment 1006. The prototype. A close call occurred this week in which he nearly breached containment. The prototype seemingly disassembled the digital alarm clock within his room and utilized the battery, along with several other components, to create a laser pointer, which he then fired into the security camera, what? disabling it. These actions allowed him 28.3 seconds completely unmonitored. Once function returned to the camera, the room appeared to be empty. One surveillance specialist went in to confirm his absence. However, upon opening the door, she realized that the prototype had hidden in one of the camera's blind spots. The prototype attempted to escape through the open door. Oh, it didn't. However, another surveillance specialist was able to remotely relock the door despite the other specialists still being inside. Oh. One casualty occurred. Yeah. The prototype seems to possess an unprecedented level of intelligence beyond that of all other test subjects, as well as an alarming willingness to commit violence. Further suppression treatments will need to be enacted to ensure that no other experiments develop these qualities. Experiment 1170, Huggy Wuggy, remains the optimal outcome due to his sufficient intelligence Paired with maximum obedience. End of log. Hmm. Huggy Wuggy's just smart enough. <laughs> Again, though, is this kids? Or. I don't know. 1006, that's not that far from the rat that we have the note for. Hmm. If they're going numerically. Hmm. The, and it's not the numbers are meaning something well, else. Because the poppy, he said that it brings people back to life. Wouldn't there need to be a life to begin with? Well, it does have, like, people bones attached to it. The kids, though? I don't know. Though, this one's super smart. So is it maybe the dude? Maybe. Elliot? But why would he want to be as an experiment? Unless he was dying. Maybe. Because he did start playtime in, like, the 30s, didn't he? Mm, Wasn't it? I don't know. Or something like Here that? Here we go with that ambiance lighting again. Or the 50s. Something like that. <laughs> You've been getting a lot of spam recently. I have. I have also. Where are we? We're upstairs in the game station. Oh, we're the, the observation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause see, there's the oh yeah, yeah there's yeah. the the windows. 
We can see outside! It's been so long! No, we can't. Look. Go forward. Look, they're just lights behind fake oh. windows. Oh. That's pretty smart, though. If you're trying to make it look like you're not underground. I suppose. But, you know, no vitamin properties. No, but, like, mental health-wise. Um... I guess, but you're still affected by the light, the vitamins given off by the sunlight. That's why where we live, it's recommended that you take vitamin D. I suppose. Yeah, because no, I've never... seasonal depression <laughs> is actually a thing here. <laughs> I prefer the darkness. <laughs> Preferring the darkness and not getting vitamins is totally different. If anything, the sun makes me sad. Really? No, it's it's about the chemical balance. <laughs> well, maybe mine's... Not the lighting. Well, mine is weird. I <laughs> You are allergic to the sun. You sneeze. No, I was talking about I'm wired differently. Oh, uh, perhaps. You know, the whole... I, yes, I suppose. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if that's necessarily... Even my doctor, she's like, make sure you take a vitamin D uh, succulent or whatever with these medications it'll help and i'm like gotcha have i done it not yet but it's fine <laughs> all right um oh i just did the whole tough thing <laughs> nobody's gonna understand <laughs> like, is he blind <laughs> 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 i had you do the huggy wucky challenge no <laughs> Okay, I'm scared. I feel like I don't think the big bad guy is going to be guessing... out here. I'm guessing. Because he seems way too cool. I feel like they were going to save him for another game. Yeah, but they're probably, he's probably going to be the big bad guy. Big unless bad it's Poppy. Guy. Could be. I don't know. I don't But Poppy think seemed to be so. kind of wanting to help us. Yeah. So. And genuinely. Yeah. Yeah. This is so weird. Also, what's the point? Like, what am I supposed to see from here? If there's children everywhere, what exactly well, am I supposed to see? Well, it looks like there's a bunch of cameras on the bottom. Oh, um, freaks. Alright. Oh, maybe we get to watch something. Maybe. Maybe the code will be in here? Oh, yep, there's <gasps> Poppy. Poppy! She's got the code. Should I go in here? Or should I go up there real quick? Uh, well, the door is closed, so... We'll okay. <laughs> probably be able to open it from this way. Bobby, I'm it's here to save up. you. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to look at. No, I wanted to look at this. Go push E on it. Oh goodness! <laughs> I wanted to look at the instructions. Void. Reject. Okay, let's read these. <laughs> One minute, Poppy. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. All right, hold your horses. <laughs> I have some reading. I'm a little busy right now. <laughs> um. Oh, is somebody here? Hello. Okay, how do I you zoom think you're in? You're coming at the end of Poppy. How do I zoom in? <laughs> Left mouse. Thank you. <laughs> uh, pro. Proctoring. In Proctoring. The game thank stage. you. Start by. We're reporting the control station. Always keep a minimum distance of 20 yards away from mommy long legs. Well, yeah, because we got She that. doesn't like us. She doesn't she like... She doesn't like adults. Yeah. Yeah. Which... Yeah! <laughs> These guys suck! Um, the train will arrive with children... Though it said she liked the other experiments, yet she killed... The Bunzo. other experiments? So. Dustin, she's also a little crazy right now. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like even if we weren't, I guess she's a worker, been alone for ten she's years. She's been alone. Yeah, she's just been. I don't know if that's it. That maybe that's it. I don't know because Huggy Wuggy I thought was nice at first, and then he. Yeah, but with the remember when we first get in, there's the security tape, and he's like, "There's secret alarms everywhere," and that's not. That's the least dangerous of our <laughs> security hmm. features. I don't know. And the the picture that was on the screen was Huggy's hand. So you think that they were security? I'm guessing Huggy was being security. But he was nice to us. I don't know. I don't know. Like I said, I want to watch a lore video after this. Um, okay, the train will arrive with children at 8 a.m. 8 a all children will be gathered inside the game station all at once. The order of the game should be musical memory, wacka 
Wuggy, and then statues. Are they as dangerous as when I played? Um, a series of bridges and doors from the control station well, should mommy, guide you to each game. Mommy did say that the Wacka Wuggies were used to be tied so that they couldn't get too close to the children. That's still terrifying. <laughs> um, Mommy Longlegs can assist in escorting the children to each game. Only one child should ever play the game at a time. Children who are not playing the game will wait in the game station. There is playground equipment to keep them entertained. Record each child's performance as relevant to each game. Musical memory. Composure. Memory. Pattern recognition. Wacka wuggy. Hand-eye coordination. <laughs> I don't have and that. Reaction and time. reaction time. I made it. I would have gone to the first game, and then by the second game, whatever they do to the kids would happen to me. <laughs> um... And statues, agility, strength, speed. Once the children have left for the day, return to the control station. Give all reports to Mrs. Stella, Stella Graber. Graber to sort through. Do we know Stella G Graber? In the first chapter, she was the one who talked about wanting to be a kid forever. And then in this chapter, she was the one who gave us all the narrations when we pulled the levers. And she was like, oh, you did wonderful. And I bet mommy loves you. And mm. But I bet you she has already been telling you that and stuff like that. Mm. Well, I mean, at least it sounds like the kids get to leave. So maybe they didn't kill him? I would imagine not. I feel like it unless would be weird maybe if a they're bunch testing of for missing. Unless they're testing for like Oh, and if you win, you get taken. You know, optimum if you do well on all three games, you know, then they take you maybe something maybe. like that. And they were like, oh, he got adopted. They got adopted by one of our employees. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe, actually. That's why they were encouraging kind of their... Kind Spartan type thing. Yeah. Halo. Yeah. Yeah. I, I shouldn't keep comparing but for this what? to other things. But for what? <laughs> That's what I'm so confused on. Do they use them in the experiments? Because Mommy Longlegs seemed like a grown-up. And I don't know about Kissy and Huggy, though. They didn't talk, but... Okay, next one. Yeah. Formal re request form. Dr. Matthew... Wason? Wason. Windows in Game Station. Like, actual ones? I don't know if you ever spent weeks on end in a windowless, artificially lit room, but let me tell you something. It's far from pleasant. The kids are getting rowdy, too. You can just see it on their faces. Well, yeah. I mean, to be fair, it's a play structure, though. But um, I know there's not really a way to get... To get not... What? Natural light. Oh, natural lighting down here. But there's other ways, right? I'm thinking about fake windows all around. Do that. And bam! There's some... Action? Actual. Actual life down here. Thank you. I saw it on TV last week. This underground place had fake windows, big lights behind the glass. It makes the whole place feel sunlit. sunlit. It's nice. You want everyone in the right headspace for these games, don't you? Do the right thing. Add windows. So they did, right? Yeah. Like two. They no. Like two. There's and like one on one end and one on the other. It looks like there was like six on each side. I'll do that. Huh. Do they not have those happy lights that actually do give off vitamins yet? I don't know. I think they Whoa. give off vitamins. I'm confused when this game is supposed to take place because all the original ones... So, Poppy was created in the 50s. Huggy was in the 80s. And then the Mommy Long Lakes commercial said 91. So... Hmm. All right. Well, that's it, right? If anything... And then everyone disappeared for 10 years... So we're at least in the early 2000s, so maybe. I think I got it all the paper. But then again, people seem to be able to think that a doll that can talk back to you in the 50s... <laughs> is cool. ...was a... well, was a possibility. Okay. <laughs> I feel like once I grab her, something's gonna happen. This looks like a microwave! <laughs> oh monitor sets. Alright, well I guess I just grab her? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Come here! <laughs> oh! Poppy? Did you kill 
kill her? Good. I'll board the train. We need to leave. Do her eyes look different? She seems different. Her eyes look different to me. She doesn't sound as... Cheerful? Yeah. Well, then again, she was taken. Right, again. <laughs> right. Maybe she's just kind of fed up with the place. Okay. Uh, what did we get? Okay, I guess I can look at these down there. Yeah. We're probably going to have to look at them. Guess, oh, there's another level there. Do I do anything? I don't know. Maybe both at the same time. No, one hand left. Oh! <laughs> Kendra, you have two hands. It's so good that you're here. <laughs> okay, ready? Um, I just... I don't think it did anything. Huh, weird. I'm Why actually like, there? I'm letting the bad guy go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm over here like, what does this do? And it's opening doors and he's just like, oh, sweet. <laughs> but then you pulled them multiple times. So. It's so <laughs> just up and down. Up and down. <laughs> Maybe I'll kill him. <laughs> Maybe I'll kill him. <laughs> Okay, I don't think I'm guessing I can do we go anything. through the door. It sounded like it opened. And oh. it poppy left. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, I just noticed something. The clock is upside down. Oh. Ooh. Ow. <laughs> I can't do it. Um, why is it upside down? I don't know. Weird. <laughs> is it supposed to be upside down? I or mean, did... is there a point to that? Because do the kids even know how to read the clock? I don't know how old the age group is. It said, was, didn't it say like 4 to 16 or something? Oh, uh, well then the 16 year olds are probably good. What is it, like 10 when you learn how to read? Roman numerals? Yeah. 8? Maybe? I don't know. I don't know anymore. I know. <laughs> I think they try to up it, you know what I mean? Like, teach you earlier. Am I supposed to take this? Is this a slide? It looks like a slide. That's kind of cool. I'm... Um, okay. That, or is it for when Mommy's crawling on the ceiling? That seems weird to put a clock for Mommy. I'm also looking for statues, but I don't see any. Well, so, oh, okay, yeah, we did get it early. Because the statue was, like, right there. <gasps> oh! So it would have been right where we were looking oh! when we turned around. We kind of spoiled it for ourselves then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's weird. Why would you let it spawn in? Why not code it to spawn in after mommy's dead? Eh, who cares? <laughs> but yeah, it would have been right there when we turned around from rescuing Poppy. There. I wonder if I got all the statues then. I don't, think I don't know. So. You could check. No, We're there's two. two. Dang. Oh well. All right. Down the slide! That was quick. Sign. Poster. Always stick with a buddy. A bud. A bud. Ah, okay. It's a flower bud. Um, ex executive empl excessive uh, excessive employee excessive fraternizing is looked down upon. All workplace relationships should be disclosed to HR. Okay. So no you fraternizing can't date. with co-workers, and if you start dating someone, you have to tell HR. I wonder if why. Well, because it can make things complicated if you break up. Yeah. But... Also, there's the whole you know if you're like trying to date someone who's yeah power. Yeah, they have to make sure that you know it's not <laughs> a power dynamic or whatever power or something. Yeah, weird yeah. power dynamic. Are all these toys dead? I would imagine. Because. This would be so cool if you were a kid. But yeah. I missed the whole, like, experimentation thing, you know? Well, all the kids that weren't tanking were probably having a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. All the kids that just did okay. <laughs> the kids that it sucked. <laughs> <laughs> the one time it's good to fail. Well, 
I don't see anything else I can interact with, so. I guess we get on the train. I guess we get on Poppy the train. said she was good on the train. Is she? Can we see her on the train? I don't see her. No, I don't either. Choo choo. Oh, oh. Can we honk the train horn? I think I have to activate this first. I see. I can see the little pulley thingy right there. I guess I get on. Yeah, because we have to put it in the code. Poppy, are you here? Can you pull it? <laughs> <laughs> Again! All aboard! We have to pull it after we start the train. Okay, okay. Because <laughs> that's what you have to do. Chugga, 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 chugga. Poppy, are you here though? I'm guessing... Maybe she's in the back. Yeah. All right. <laughs> that would so mean fun. this isn't the last chapter, so probably something. One gonna day I will put it on my bucket list to be able to blow a, a train horn. Okay. Um. Part one. Icons must be sequenced out in this exact order. Bunny, Huggy. It's kissy. kissy oh, is it? Sorry. Eyelashes. Sorry, my bad. Can you remember eyelashes mean it's a girl. Ah, that's right. My bad. I'm a girl. I should know. Guys don't have guys eyelashes. don't have eyelashes. Obviously, <laughs> dust just floats on in, <laughs> and they take it because they're men. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> okay, bunny, kissy, bee, mommy. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, do I do it? Arrow. Maybe E. Oh, uh, maybe. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> okay, bunny, a huggy, or kissy, a bee, mom. Okay. And then. No, it sounded that was a. Was it wrong? Yeah, because it did the it did it did a red. What did I do wrong? What does the arrow do? <gasps> oh! Oh, I see. Bunny, kissy, bee. Okay, got it. I see. Now the colors. And then the, the numbers below it. Yeah. The one that Poppy gave. Okay. Just okay. gave us. So... Or we took from Poppy. Whatever it is. Color, red, yellow, red, blue. How do I change the color? Little color thingies. Okay, so red... Yellow, red... Blue. Yeah, blue. Okay. okay. This is a weird way to activate a train. Well, we can't let... <laughs> Four, two, one, three. So... It's a... It, you know, it makes it so that you have to know the code in order to use the train. I guess. Can can't I... let kids accidentally get I... on the train. Oh, is it... I'm guessing now you push the faces. Four, two, one, three. So, one... You said four, right? Four, two, four. one, three. Four. Oh! <laughs> four, two, one, three? Okay. And pull the lever? No, that's the brake. This is the Ah, lever. the thing that's lighting up. Do you not know trains? Can I close this? Or is this going to close it? I'll probably close it myself. No, Dustin, I don't know trains. <laughs> All right, all aboard! Pull the thing, pull the thing. The lever? No, the, the horn. You have, you have to announce that you're leaving. Here we go! <laughs> you always have to announce you're leaving the station. There was a statue in oh. the like I feel like something's gonna happen. I'm guessing this is the end of the game. Here we go! Uh, It'd be weird if just... I was so scared she put me back in that cave. Where are you? But you saved me. You are perfect. Thanks. Too perfect to lose. Thanks. I'm sorry. Oh, she changed the I tracks. can't let you leave. Oh. 
We've never met anyone like you. <laughs> Do you know how long I've been stuck in that case? Well, too long. At least ten years. I had so much time to think and reflect. Within your dollars. Time to figure out exactly what I would do when free. We'll set things right. Okay. Terrible things have happened. Yeah. But I know that whatever I need you to do, you are capable. I mean, we will. What? Is Bobby. Assembled an alarm clock to make a laser pointer. I don't understand, Poppy. Poppy! <laughs> we seem to be going quicker! <laughs> Kindred, signal of vertebrae trade. <laughs> Go ahead with the tracks! <laughs> oh! Oh! Do I need to break? I can't break. I'm trying! It's not working! Ah, ah. Oh. This is why I don't, this is why I don't drive. <laughs> this is my first time, too. <laughs> out why couldn't she just come with me well she said she wanted to set things right so right maybe... you know you could talk to me about this <laughs> <laughs> communication of, is key communication is key in relationships poppy okay i know you've been locked away for like however long but if you had just come to me and been like hey i want to do whatever and i'll be like okay sure let's do it you didn't have to go and move the tracks. But hey, at least that means then that must be the way out, so. I mean, I guess there's a train in our way now. But cool. I wonder I wonder what uh, play care is gonna be. Maybe there'll be more kids? Maybe. Maybe. Well, and the train went to play care. So. Maybe that's where they take the kids once they do well on the tests. Maybe. Because it said all the kids got back on the train. So if they stopped at Plague Air, maybe? Maybe. Hmm. Cool! Woo! Alright! And that's the end of Poppy Playtime Chapter 2 A Fly in the Web, I think? <laughs> um. Anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed that stream. Uh, obviously, that's the end of the game for now. Uh, I have no... Are they making the second... Or, sorry, the third chapter? I would imagine. Cool. I'm excited for when it comes out. I, I really, really like the lore. At some point, maybe we'll have to watch a video on here. Or I'll just have to watch one in my own spare time. I don't know. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the game. Um, obviously, that's kind of it for now. So we are now gonna switch over to Cemetery Mary. Nope. Never mind, apparently. <laughs> well, to them, they're still saying. Oh. <laughs> I wonder how big of a difference it would have made if I had gotten all the statues, or if you just get like an achievement. I'm guessing the statues are, yeah, just kind of a. An achievement. achievement just like a little. Thingy. You did good, kind of a thing. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, that was fun. I enjoyed that. I enjoyed that a lot. I'm excited for another one like that to come out but uh yeah mysterious i want to know what's going on hopefully we'll get more information in the third chapter you said there's also going to be a movie they announced they're working on a movie fascinating i'm interested how there's going to be a movie if they're not done with the game yet but maybe it's only going to be three chapters 
Because I can't imagine they do... Because it seems like they've set it up for... Now they have the prototype guy. Mm -hmm. And Poppy is being suspicious. I mean, a good weird, it seems like. At least. She just seems like one of those characters who's like, I'm going to do whatever ne- is necessary to correct this, even if that means kidnapping someone, which isn't cool. But at least she's trying to do good, I guess. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> if I have to give her something. But, uh, yeah. I don't know. Cool. I figured, though, at the end she wasn't going to let us go. Especially because of how weird she was acting. Well, yeah, also, you, you knew this wasn't the last chapter, because otherwise they would have just called it something instead of chapter two. Well, and they <laughs> wouldn't have been like, ooh, you get to see the hand of this really mysterious guy. <laughs> but that's it. Nothing else. <laughs> but, uh, cool. I look forward to the next one coming out, and we'll definitely play it with you guys. 